and welcome to another Epic Games free game of the week review and this is for July the 7th we have two free games and the first one here is Ancient Enemy this is a cheap card game and unfortunately they labeled it as an RPG and RPG can be labeled as any game out there and when they use it loosely like this it pisses me off because it's not an RPG basically at all in the uh, real sense right here so let's take a look at what this game is you saw the title screen and here's what the map looks like as you can walk around in the map and here's little battles and little card games you get into and they're not really much for card games at all it has a storyline you can follow it might be an interesting storyline but I don't have the patience uh, this is what the game looks like and you can see what you do you have your character fighting that character and you have your abilities on the side here and then you have these cards and all you got to do is you got to go higher or lower and do card combinations which increase your damage or your shield potential and then kill the other enemy with that way while not trying to die you know uh, yeah and I can show you the equip button here this is how me to go to I can look what he's doing he's got fire damage it says right there and then he's got block magic damage for one turn so you can adjust your stuff accordingly and I got blocking magic already and I don't have any physical uh, yeah, I don't have any physical attacks right there, and I don't have any things to use, so I don't know what they wanted me to do. Got abilities you can click on. There's another ability, uh, an undo, extra undo combo, whatever. Uh, it's passive abilities. Okay, they just want me to equip that because I got that last time. So that is it for this game. Um, it is really very simple. It unfortunately has like a, like a $17 price tag, uh, which is way overpriced for this game. And this is, a, this is a type of game that should be free. And this is the gist of it. You see, he's, he's going to be using this fireball next, so I need to get a shield up there or we're going to take damage. You know, whoop de doo da day, and you know, there's a little bit of a shield right there. And this is it. I got a three here, so I can only go to a. I can oh, do damage there, so I can do a uh, two, then I can go a three again, but I got no fours on here. So I'm gonna have to go back to a. Uh, I have to go to one, and then a zero, and uh, that's it. I am done. I got nothing I could do here. The only other thing I could do is use your other cards here, is to remove it, and so I need a nine, right? So. Uh, I don't want to get rid of just I can get rid of this card here. So now I got a nine, and then I can use an eight, and then another nine, and then I can use a zero, and a nine. This is a wild card. You can you can save them for later if you when you need it. And up, you know, there's another defense card right there, and there's a zero right there. So I can go either way. Um, yeah, doesn't hurt to use it. More power. So yeah, I powered up my thing pretty good, and I can just use that to block it. Extra block power. So that is how this game goes, and uh, as you can see, it just keeps going on like this, and you do more fights, the same fights, or you just do an unlock screen where you're doing the same thing. You know, your cars are higher or lower. It is a very, very simple game to do, and uh, the RPG elements are kind of like almost non-existent, so you can level up and pick like a skill point to to enhance your abilities in like some minor way but that is it it is pretty much uh, cheap garbage and it gets negatives for being a little bit too expensive for what it is and saying it's like an RPG like type deal it's not really it's like you know it says you know it says in the game thing there's it's indie and that's basically what it is you just you got to do what you got to do basically and it's really that simple it's just simple cards up and down if you want to do that go ahead and play it but it is not interesting uh if you actually want to play a decent game it's not interesting at all it's a good uh, time killer if you're drunk or high or something like that and you want to do something really really simple and not really challenging after a tired day or work or something like that and you just want something simple that has uh, some type of little basic action in there that you can do with one hand then you go ahead and play this with that that's the only time i'd recommend actually trying to play this game because it is free right now so that's why you get it and download it and play it so yeah yeah, download it if you're into that kind of thing and you want something simple to do that's different and you're bored but other than that this game was going to get an overall 1 out of 10 it won't get a 2 out of 10 because it wants to be a higher price and wants to call it uh, what it's not it what it's not so yeah it's not really an RPG in that, in that kind of sense uh, don't like it when they do that so yeah 1 out of 10 for this game here and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and we also have the uh, Killing Floor 2 is on there but um, yeah, I didn't do a review on that game yet, um, and it was also a free game during the Christmas time, I believe, or somewhere there, because I already have it as one of the free games already. So, But I will do a review on it, because I haven't actually tried it. I don't know how good it is, but uh, it didn't look good enough for me to actually play in between doing nothing besides you know stuff like this. So it probably 
be okay, but probably won't be great. But so, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.